arrested for giving a false name to the police. Comment below, let us know what you think regarding the subject matter at hand. So I was arrested by the police for giving a false name, which would be a violation of California Penal Code section 148.9. Let's see, I was released on bond. Uh, months later, I was deported. How is this case now? Can it be fixed so I don't have problems if I return to the country? Yeah. Okay, if you didn't go to court, let's say you were um, arrested and then deported in the interim and you didn't go to court for a criminal case, you have a warrant. What happens is there are two separate systems. There's a criminal system, which is generally speaking, it's it's the state. Sometimes you'll you'll have uh, some you know crossover with the feds, but usually a criminal case is a state case. And then you have the immigration system, which is federal. Um, one arm does not know what the other one is doing, so uh, just because you are uh, deported doesn't mean that that resolves your criminal case. It's completely separate, completely separate. So, um, but the good thing is this is a misdemeanor. The 148.9 is a misdemeanor, which means that your attorney, without your physical presence, will be able to go to court. He'll be able to add the matter onto the calendar, and he will be able to talk to the judge, explain the situation, to the judge and more than likely the warrant can be recalled without your physical presence. You can then, your attorney could then have you sign something called the 977 waiver so that you don't have to physically appear in court and then the attorney, as long as they're, you know, the attorney could resolve the case without your physical presence or at the very least if you want to be in court to resolve the case with your attorney, um, all that matters is that the warrant gets recalled. Once the warrant is recalled, you can come into the country again without any problems of getting stopped because of a warrant and then you can take care of your court case but if you don't want to deal with it considering it's a misdemeanor it's not considered really a crime of moral turpitude you should be able to take care of this without your physical presence your attorney should be able to handle it regardless if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the san francisco bay area don't forget to subscribe to our channel law offices of cross and associates and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. But if you've been accused of a crime here in the San Francisco Bay Area and need a representation, give us a call for free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing the case of a minor charge of domestic violence. Have a good day.